Lynn, I don't know that you ever heard about this yet, so this will be good. That's why I'm sitting here. Because Excellent. I'm, Very good. Jennifer, so. hopefully, yeah. if you, Jennifer, you want to come on mic or you want to talk in the chat, that's cool too. Um, whatever works for you. Uh, I'll give you kind of a, um, a sense of what we're doing and, and kind of the why we're doing it. And so ultimately, this is a partnership between our center, and I know Lynn, you know this, but Jennifer, in case you don't know, um, we are the Assistive Technology Act Center for New Jersey. So every state and every territory has a project that's designed and, and kind of tasked with making sure that um, people in that state understand assistive technology, know what it is, know how to get it and know how to use it effectively. And so for part of our funding for this past year, we, we took a, a creative approach to this, kind of getting the word out. And um, we subscribed as a state to the ATIA Learning Center. And so ATIA is an industry organization. It was the, uh, it is the Assistive Technology Industry Association. And so it is a, an organization made up of vendors of technology. Um, they host a conference. The conference was last week down in Florida. Um, so I got to go to Florida. It was not nearly as nice as you might think it was. It was cold and it rained all but one day, but okay, that's fine. I did manage to get out before the blizzard. So I got to get all the way back here just in time to shovel, uh, which was my, my wife was thrilled about that. That was happy. She was happy about that. Uh, but the, the learning center is basically their recorded sessions. So whether they host webinars or conference sessions, or even the vendors themselves um, creating their own recorded content, everything gets posted up to the ATIA Learning Center. And then it is kind of like you can either do a membership or you do a pay as you go. And so everything is kind of a la carte. You choose some uh, sessions that you want to go through. Uh, and then you pay for them and you watch the recordings. The, the powerful thing about the learning center is that uh, there are CEUs available. So if people need CEUs to keep certifications, this is a really good path to get that. And so talking to them as we went through, you know, kind of the learning about it um, and talking with the ATIA people, they, they shared this idea of these state partnerships. Uh, and so basically what our center has done is purchased access for everyone in our state to access whatever they want in this learning center for the rest of the year. So it is completely free. In fact, we were just talking in the uh, town hall that happened kind of over the lunch break. Uh, we were talking and one of the participants um, said that she has now watched six different things which would have cost her over $400. And it's pretty great when you can put the little special New Jersey code in the code box and it goes down to zero and you get access to all that. And so um, it, it's, it has the potential to be something really exciting uh, for us and give people in our state access to things they want to learn about. And so it's all self-directed. Uh, all we're doing is in essence, footing the bill. And we want it. We want to uh, build capacity across the state. And so whatever it is that you might be interested in, you can now go to the Learning Center, which is at the website, atia.org slash learning dash center. That's how you get there. And what happens when you get there, here you go, here's the Learning Center. Mine's gonna look a little different because I'm already logged in, but you would be able to scroll through the learning catalog um, even without being a member. I'm just gonna refresh it in case there's new stuff. Um, and so what it would give you would be access to this. So you would be able to see courses that are there. And again, there are complementary courses in all of these areas. So what ATIA tends to do is they organize their content under strands. And so you can look at certain specific areas of focus. So if you have a specific focus, uh, you can go to those and search just in that. So if we do AT for physical access and participation, we load that part. And now what we start to see is all of the courses that are available. And so we can go through, and again, these are all recorded and, and you get kind of an idea 
of how much these would start to cost you. Um, and so these are typically hour long sessions. Um, so at $45 um, a piece, uh, you can select any one of them. I'll just pick one. And any of the ones you pick, it will give you um, an indicator of the overview, what the objectives were, um, some information about the presenter or presenters and they will give you that background information about the session. And then anything you want, once you've created an account, and so that is kind of the key at the top, I guess I should have shown first. Um, here I've, I've created an account for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna show you my password, but I'll let you see my <laughs> email address. Um, so you create your account. And then as you go in, now you're logged in, it says Mike up at the top. I say, oh, this session sounds really good. I like this. I'm going to add it to my cart. And then when I go to check out, it's going to ask for a promo code. And then what you will get is when you sign up through us, we will send you the code. And so you can just continue to use this code all year long. This, this service that we've uh, purchased goes all the way until... September 30th. So you have all year to use this. Um, and so as soon as you apply the code, it will go down to zero and it will give you access to the recording. If there's a quiz now, now not all of them have CEUs, but a large percentage of them do. And so if you chose a session that has a CEU, there will be a short quiz at the end mm -hmm. to confirm that you watched it mm -hmm. and you'll answer the questions. And as soon as you do that, it will create for you a certificate for your CEUs that you can hold on to. And so, I mean, as we go through, you should never have to fill out payment. As soon as you put promo code, it should go to zero. You should never have to put your credit card into here. Um, and that is the learning center. That's huge. Huge catalog. That's What's huge. that, Lynn? That's huge. That's awesome. It's, it's really very cool. And, and it's really um, because it's so diverse. And I think that's the part that's really powerful. Um, it, it was interesting. They, they told me when we signed up that we're the first state that is doing this across um, disciplines. So they've had state departments of ed do this just for the education piece. They've had vocational rehab do it just for the employment piece. But by doing it through the AT Act, we're pretty much saying to everybody, anybody can get it, whatever your interest area is. It doesn't matter to us. Um, and you can see there's so many things. I don't believe you'll get access to the virtual event. So you might try to click there. That was the conference from last week. Those you won't get access to. So if you put them in your cart and you see it doesn't go to zero, that's why. Stick with the courses at the top, courses by strand, courses by CEU accreditation, which is huge. So if, I, if I'm if i a um, occupational therapist, I only want to probably watch the ones that'll give me credit that I need towards my certification. So I can search that way as well um, as you go through. And then finally, there are tons of complimentary courses, very similar to kind of what we're doing today, where it's vendor-driven presentation, sharing about their products and their services, which are awesome. And those you can get to regardless. Um, but now you'll have access to get to basically everything. Um, yeah, the cost I books. know. Yeah, What's the cost that, I know. The cost I know because I'm renewing my license this year and I just had to do a mandatory course that was 30 bucks for, for two CEUs. Yeah, it's yeah. the same thing. Yeah, I, I renew mine every two years for my ATP, my assistive tech certification. Um, as I do that, I always wait till the last minute, which, well, that's just the way it is. Um, but now I can do this and I can get the yeah. CEUs. So nice. I see in the uh, in chat, it's uh, Wandine. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. Um, the info for the promo code. We're not just going to give this code out. We're going <laughs> to force you to go. We're going to, this link right here, I'll put the link in the chat. Um, this link will give you access to the form we need you to fill out because we paid for this with our federal money that is designed and, and um, earmarked for New Jersey residents. Um, we have to verify that you are from New Jersey. 
ultimately, I guess you could lie. Um, that'd be kind of crummy, but I guess you could. Um, but we're also making this broad in a sense that as long as you work or live in New Jersey, this is completely legit for us because you're providing service here as well. So that's okay. Um, yeah, so, so I see the other comment in the chat from Monica. So Monica, we purchased this through our AT Act. So your a AT Act in Pennsylvania would be the people at um, Temple from the Tech Owl organization. That is your group. But Monica, if you work in New Jersey, I don't know if you do, now I'm calling you out a little bit. Um, if you do, then you could certainly get access to it. And so we, we watch that just to make sure that it's completely legit. And, and I, I think it's a really interesting opportunity. And it would be curious to, to bring this to them as well. Um, it, it's not cheap, but it is a great opportunity to raise awareness. I think always um, our goal as the AT Act is to find ways to raise awareness about assistive technology. And so finding ways to get people the information they want, as opposed to the information we think they want. Uh, and so this gives them a really great catalog to pull from. And so for anybody who is New Jersey resident or working in New Jersey, you can click that link, fill out that form. It's just a couple questions just so we can track it. Um, and then you will have free access for the year. One of the things we're, we're planning to do as we go forward, like I said, this is something that we are going to be doing through into September. And so what we're doing now is we're going through the catalog and we're bundling things and creating like little playlists. And so we're going to share those playlists with people and say, hey, why don't you watch this? You're interested in communication. Here's a handful of sessions you might want to watch. And then what we're going to do is we're going to follow up with live conversations like we're doing now in the future where people who have watched all those can come together and talk. So like a listening party, but kind of an extended out. And then we'll do the, um, the little bit of a um, kind of town hall sharing or like a coaching session to figure out how we might use that as we go forward. Um, so that is pretty much our pitch for the learning center. Uh, I'm, I don't know if anybody has any other questions about it. I'm even curious to find out where are you going now to get information? I mean, I know you're here today. That's, that's great. We love that. Um, I'm just curious where people find um, their resources and their information. Cause I think it's, it, there's so much out there now. And I think, I don't know that we'll ever go back to not having kind of these virtual sessions. I, I think there is such value in this um, because I, I know, and I'm sure all of you think the same way. Um, if I had to go somewhere today, I would have to have made all these kinds of plans to get there and all this other stuff, but to have it come to me um, has a certain kind of value um, that uh, is really powerful. And, and now that that genie's out of the bottle, I don't think we can stuff it back in. I, I was mentioned into another group that uh, earlier in the, in the town hall, um, the ATIA conference last week, which was in Florida, which was live, but had a virtual component to it. They had just as many people participate virtually as they did live. It was almost the same amount of people. And some of those people probably participated virtually because maybe they couldn't fly or they didn't feel comfortable flying or whatever it might be because of the pandemic. Um, but a large chunk of those people were individuals who are not able to get funding to go somewhere to a conference. So they never get the opportunity. Uh, and so they were able to do that virtually and experience a large chunk of the conference. And, and this is kind of the same thing is that it, it gives you the opportunity to attend a lot without having to go anywhere. Monica, I attended ATI virtually and love having access, access to those sessions. Yeah, Monica mentions the quiet listserv, which is awesome if you're not familiar with that. Um, that group is, uh, I'm putting it in the chat, qiat.org. And then you can search for their listserv. And then you get on the email listserv where people ask questions. And Monica, I agree that that is an awesome resource um, of thousands of people from across the world um, asking questions, giving resources, helping people with answers. Um, so yeah, that is an amazing resource as well. That gives you a chance to connect with them. 
And I'm trying to think if I have anything else to share with you guys. Um, I'm keen to just chat if you want to chat. But that's kind of the nutshell of, of our learning center. Now you're welcome to hang. You can turn your cameras on. You can chat with Lynn and I. Um, <laughs> you could head off. We do have one more, right? One more session time. I have to look at my own schedule because I don't even know. Yes, one more. Uh, I'm curious, did anyone go to the Kumo space and how did it go? We were at our table. And did you get people come through? Um, I think they were having a hard time tracking up to us. There seemed oh, like okay. there were a lot of people in the bottom. <laughs> but not getting themselves up yeah. into the space. Oh, that's yeah, their, their arrow up wasn't yeah. working well or something but we, out and we kind of zoomed around a little bit okay all right well we'll keep we'll keep playing with that we're trying to find these new creative ways to get people um connecting that feels like a fun way it's not yeah. super accessible i mentioned before to somebody but it, it is interesting though and i think it's just so new that until you i mean kaylee and i've been working on it all week Naomi was wonderful. So we've been playing with it all week. So we knew how to get around and we put furniture in our room. I mean, we were having a good time, but you know, for five, 10 minutes that you're there, you're trying to figure out what to do and how to right. do it. What do yeah. I do? Yeah. It's interesting. And I mean, thinking of that, even um, to a next step, Lynn, you could think about that. You guys could create your own space and you could invite people to come through. That it was like an op open office hour if people wanted to chat with you about um, equipment or services. We have an online chat on the website right now, and that's that's working pretty well. Yeah. Um, again, just thinking of those ways to get yeah. people to come in, right? No, that's good. Yeah. One of our biggest challenge is uh, we get people from all over the United States, right. and yeah. we're not shipping right now, or we're, we're not shipping at all because of the cost of it. Yeah. And that some people have a lot of relatives in New Jersey. So that's good. A lot of folks have found ways to get it if they need it. Yeah, I think that's awesome, right? This yeah, whole idea of getting it to whoever, um, yeah. however, you know? Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, but that the Kubo space, I just have to play with it more. It's just too, it's new. I've not done that one. I've done some other ones, but not that one. Yeah, I like it. We we've made some we've made some comments back to their team like, hey, this is great. It would be better if it did this, and kind of pointing them towards some of these um, mm -hmm. accessibility features that we think mm -hmm. would be really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we were we were very concerned today that someone with a hearing impairment would come through and want to participate, and there's really no way to do that. Yeah. Um, and so we had our interpreters from this morning on standby, and basically they were going to they were going to follow the person through as like a, like a guide okay. and wherever they stopped, they would, they would do the signing and then they would keep moving around the space. So um, we didn't have anybody come through and needed that, but we were ready in case they did. Cause we, we really were concerned that uh, people wouldn't be able to use it sure. and be a barrier. So, yeah. Sure. All right. Well, I guess I'll let you guys go and I'll give you a couple minutes of your life back, do your email or something <laughs> stretch from your desk. I know that I'm a big fan of that. So uh, yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. I hope that uh, this is helpful. And I'm sorry if you don't live in New Jersey. I'm sorry to tease you with the information and then you can't use it. But uh, we do appreciate you being here today. So thank you yes. so much. It was wonderful. Thank you Good. for all thank the time you, you put into this. We'll talk awesome. soon. All right. I'll talk to you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.